Hey, this is O with CLO Ed TV. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the DL Energy R300 portable power station. I've been looking for a power station to basically use for my daily electricity use um, to power my devices and TV. And so I did a lot of research and this is the portable power station I decided to go with. Inflationary trends show that the cost of goods and services will continue to go up as time goes on, especially countries with a fiat-based currency. One way to hedge against inflation is to supplement your utilities with green energy. We're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing. If you would like to pick up this portable power station, they are available on amazon.com. I was able to get a 40% off deal with an additional $20 off coupon which brought this down to about $169.99. I'll leave my affiliate link down in the description below if you would like to pick one up. All right, now let's open this thing up. Okay, right off the bat, you have your manual here. Got it here, we got one box, two box. Let me go ahead and get this out. Okay, nothing else in the box. All right, here we go. Now I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. Um, I do have a solar setup, but um, these type of things help supplement that and they're really worth the value and you save a lot of money in uh, utilities by supplementing with something like this. So here we have the DL Energy 300 watt. Okay, here we have the battery pack right here. I guess this is the AC outlet pack. So you can charge a unit. Okay, so what we have in the box, we have two separate cords. Um, one is to charge this with a cigarette lighter. So if you have this in your vehicle, or you know, take this with you on a camping trip, as the box says, or if you just have a tailgate or a cookout or something, you can take the cigarette lighter and um, cigarette lighter charge port and charge the unit. All right, so now at least, if you're having a solar panel set up and I'll also um, give you a link below to where you can get a solar panel to hook up to one of these. These are the solar panel cables you connect to it, positive, negative, and then you also plug it in the same charge point. So basically they give you three ways to charge your unit. All right, and get an angle at this, this angle here. So basically what you have is you have Different ports here on the unit. Very nice, clean looking unit. Okay. And another thing about this unit is um, there were two versions. One version was the orange and black version. And I decided to go with the black on black version. I thought it would look a lot more modern and a lot more clean. So this is the version that I went with. So um, some of its features, you have your two 110 AC outlets. You also have two USB-C, and you also have two uh, USB-A type ports. You also have two 12 volt DC outs, one DC input, cigarette lighter port, and emergency light in the back. Okay, once the unit is on, it'll give you an indicator of how much percentage of battery you have. It has a visual battery and also a percentage. Right now it's charged at 96%. When you first get the unit, it'll be charged at about 60-65% because it can't fully charge it when it's shipping. Uh, but this can charge all the way up to 100. You have your hours. So this indicator tells you how long, whatever you plug in the charge or whatever you use, how long this unit will last before it's totally drained. And on the left hand side, this tells you how much watts you're using and also how much watts are being charged into the unit. If you decide to pick up the unit, the user manual will give more details as to many of the features that this unit can do, but I'm just gonna go over some basic general ones, what it can charge, how to charge it back, and also the benefits of having this and the use case scenario for something like this. Okay, now we're gonna do a small example of charging a device, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in the cell phone, plug it into the unit. Go ahead and press the USB-C charge unit and then your device will start charging. 
And as you can see, as the wattage goes up, the amount of hours it will last goes down. You're not going to be charging your phone for 47 hours. It may only take you 30 minutes to get your phone to a full charge. So you're not going to be using the entirety of this amount of hours. So you can get an idea that this battery really lasts a long time. Let's talk about the DC side. Now there are tons of USB-C and DC accessories that you can buy that's on the market. I know you've seen these all the time, multiple USB cigarette lighter adapters. Now, if these four ports are not enough, you can go on the uh, DC side and plug in your uh, adapter in order to uh, use the DC side. So here, as you can see, I turned the DC side on and the cigarette lighter is now lit, which means that you can duplicate or multiply your uh, charge port on this unit. This unit can charge multiple things at once. So we're actually going to be running a retro FC, charging a cell phone and running a TV. And then we're going to check out the wattage and see how much everything uses individually and together. Okay, next we're going to plug up the cell phone and when we plug that up, you're going to notice that the watts are going to go up. So I went from 10 and it's going to work its way up to probably about 18. Yeah, it works its way up to 18. So we added 8 watts to the charging, which will bring it down from 15 hours down to 12, 13-ish hours. So the more devices you add, the less charge time you're going to get. We're going to also plug in the third device. So as you can see, we're running a video game, charging the cell phone, and running the TV all at the same time. And we've only went down 1% on our battery pack. So I went from 96 to 95. Okay, one thing I wanted to point out, in the menu of your TV, there's something called the backlight. There is a setting in every modern LCD TV or plasma or 4K TV, and it's called your backlight. So if you want to extend your range as far as your portable battery pack and how long it lasts, and you can adjust the setting. So we're gonna go into the settings and see if it actually brings down the wattage use of the TV. And right now it's on 12, which is in the middle. But if I go down all the way to the lowest setting, we're gonna say zero, just to see if we can still see the TV somewhat, and we can. So it went from a solid 10 watts to down to seven watts. So by turning it all the way down, we save three watts and we can still watch TV and extend our time. So we, we actually gained two more hours from 15 to 17 hours just by turning down the backlight. So let's just talk about what happened. We use the backlight setting in the TV to actually turn down the wattage uses for the TV. It was actually 10 watts of power that it took to run this TV and now it's gone down to 6 watts and if you notice our runtime hours went up from 15 hours to 18 so that's a little trick you can do if you're using something like this or if you just want to lower your electric bill turn down the backlight of your TV and it will extend not only the range of your portable battery bank but it'll also lower your wattage and power usage to run the TV. So indefinitely, you can run this TV for 18 hours. So let's say you watch uh, two hours of TV a day, YouTube, social media, and you just you know put on the TV or play a game for a couple hours, you could run this for nine days, period, without even recharging. The next part I wanna go over is how you charge the R300. Well, there's three ways to do it. One, you can use an AC adapter outlet. This is the main way that I charge my unit because I have a solar setup that runs AC power to the house. And so I plug this into the extension cord running from my solar and that's how I charge my unit. You also can use a solar panel directly or a portable solar panel with this plug right here you just plug it down here into the charge port and that's a second way to charge 
And also, if you, like I said, if you're camping, tailgating, or you have an emergency, you gotta run a CPAP, you gotta charge an emergency radio, then you can plug this into your car and also plug into the charge port as well. I wanna make this note that you do not need a solar panel to use this unit. I only use a solar panel because it allows me to use free electricity or electricity generated from the sun to recharge the bank and that way I can use the bank on the devices I use on a daily basis. You can plug these in your wall outlet and actually use this in an emergency. When the power is out, guess what? You can pull this out and charge everyone's devices in the house, charge your laptop, cell phone, tablets, um, put a CPAP machine on it, a, a heated blanket. If it's cold, you need to warm up real quick, go ahead and plug that heated blanket in. But um, this can be used just for emergency, but you do not need a solar panel to charge this, although it is one option. So the way you calculate how much charge you're putting into the battery bank is you are going to put 45 watts in based off the power brick. Now this takes up to 65 watts, but typically 45 watts is what you're gonna get. So 45 coming in, clippers and cell phone takes about 13 watts. So you subtract 13 from that 45. So that leaves you with 32. 32 watts of power is still going into the unit and you're using these clippers. Translation, 45 watts coming in from solar, your electricity use is only 13 watts. That means you have a surplus of 32 watts. If you can use 45 watts of power continuously for the day, that's a light, charge a cell phone, run a laptop, and possibly uh, run a TV, and you do that on a daily basis, it costs you zero dollars to run it. 50 bucks times 12, just to make it simple, you're saving about $600 in a year. So say you want to buy a used vehicle, buy a new, uh, uh, go on a vacation. You wanted to save and invest that money for a rainy day. After three years, you've got $1,800, almost $2,000 that you would have been thrown away anyway using electricity. This unit can run everything from blenders, TVs, video games, uh, charging laptops, cell phones, tablets, camera batteries, uh, radios, iPods, um, anything that you can think of under 300 watts, this will run. Now, if you're trying to run anything that uses above 300 watts, I would say in that 280 watt range, then you want to up your portable bank into something larger. But one or two of these for the family when the lights go out, or if you want to just get into solar, um, you want to buy you a portable uh, solar panel, then that will be a great option for this unit right here. If you haven't seen my video on Ryobi powered solar up here, definitely click it and check it out. Also, if you haven't seen my video on flame powered electricity, also click the same tab and you can check that video out as well too. Renewable energy is a great thing. I've enjoyed it over the years and I will continue to uh, teach and show the benefits of solar energy and other forms of green energy from here in the years to come on from family and friends. So definitely check those two videos out if you haven't seen them. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely like, comment, share, subscribe. And also, if you would like to pick up the DL Energy R300 on Amazon, you can click on my affiliate link and go ahead and pick a unit up for yourself. Stay close to God. Hope you enjoy your day. And guess what? I'll see you on the next video. Peace.